all of you must have read today's paper about an incident where there were multiple drownings. And it's a common scenario where we see most swim schools focus on trying to get kids to learn swimming very quickly. It's usually learn swimming in 15 days, learn swimming in 20 days. What we, and, and nobody learns that. Nobody learns swimming correctly. And, and very often, many of those programs never touch upon water safety. So the common myth in India is, if I know how to swim, I can sw if I know how to swim in a swimming pool, I can swim anywhere. And if I know how to swim, I can save somebody else. And both of these are dangerous, dangerously incorrect. When a child will start learning in the right way that we are launching here, the kids will learn water skills across, I mean, which will, it'll teach them skills to engage safely with water, not only in, the, in, in this swimming pool, but also in other swimming pools and other water bodies. Because it's important to teach children how to engage safely and confidently with other bodies. Typically in India, we say, don't swim. If we say don't swim or, or don't engage with water, that's our safety protocol. What we need to do and what we're learning from Australia is how do you engage with water and engage with it safely and confidently. Uh, and, and like I said, it's not a question of how quickly you can learn because like any other subject, what we, are, what we are introducing here is an aquatic education, the Australian way. So it's going to be structured, it's going to be slow, but it's going to be steady so that every child has very strong fundamentals when they are, when, you know, so that they learn and can move forward much faster later on. So that just gives a kind of a quick overview. You know, there is some reference material that will help you understand uh, the training that some of the teachers have gone through and Carrie can, will elaborate a little bit more about what, has gone, what the teachers have gone through here. But it has different sets of material for reference because in India still a lot of education is required, not only for the teachers, but even for the environment, including the parents. So, so this is where, again, I appreciate and thank Oak Ridge for being the first school in India to kind of begin this process and set the standards, uh, you know, which we appreciate and hope will translate to not only ensuring the kids are safe, but a lot more that the kids uh, move on to, do, to enjoy their engagement with aquatic sport. I'll just share, I'll just pass on the mic to Carrie to share a little bit more about what the teachers at the school have gone through over the last week.